Hello, this is the Tachi Farm Corporation, and today we will be upgrading or fixing the motherboard on this Dell R610 because it has stopped posting. And when reading all the Dell forums, they said that the motherboard replacement should probably do it. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to remove just about every single component. Now this RAID battery doesn't actually have to be removed because it's at the front part of the casing. So you can see the battery is right up here, so it can stay right where it is. I also don't need to remove these, we just need to move them out of the way. This as well. Next, we're going to remove this RAID card. Okay. And then we need to remove the power supplies. Then we need to remove this here. Okay, I believe all that's left is the processors. In anticipation for this replacement, we have bought new thermal glue. We don't know how long this thermal glue has been on this processor, probably since it was designed. Okay. It looks like if I just pull this tab, it just slides out. All nice and easy. And with that, I can get the new motherboard. Pop it in just like so. And as you can see, this moved to tell you that it re-engaged. So, this new motherboard looks very clean in comparison. The green is shinier, just looks like it might just be newer in general. Okay, so now we have to put back in the processors from the other one. Now, when you buy these processors with only one processor, they include this cover to cover up the one processor and all the RAM slots. All right. Okay. 
Okay. This thermal paste is crusty. Okay. So next we have to get the heat sinks. Wipe the thermal paste off of these as well. Trying to show you guys, but I'm also trying not to get the crust onto the mother bar. Alright. Using this MX4 thermal compound. So far, I just like to be extra thorough on this. Because you don't want it bunching up either. All right, they both look good. Go ahead and reattach this. Like that. And just like that. It's been redone. Sticky things. to reattach these.
Okay, so we're gonna reattach these. I'm going to put the power supplies back in. And I do believe that is the conclusion of our motherboard replacement video. So go ahead and let us know down in the comments what you would like us to upgrade or repair next. And we'll go ahead and catch you guys next time.